This is Twit. Yeah, so there was a demo, Leo, in the middle of this, like maybe like two hours in or an hour and a half in where <laughs> they, they showed um, – this whole scenario of a meeting, uh, like a concept video, uh, it wasn't a video, a demo. It was of a live, meeting though, in, wasn't it? I, I saw yeah, a, a meeting a, in the future. I saw yeah, some coverage really of that. Cool. I think I saw Tom's article and I saw some tweets yeah. about it. And it was a yeah. very diverse work group from all over the world, right? This is Microsoft's mm-hmm. Teams. Right, yeah. it was Teams and Cortana was part of it and um, also ambient intelligence. So they, they showed this device in the middle that yeah, looked what like was a that, cone. What was that? <laughs> the black cone. It was a dunce hat. <laughs> yeah, it was it, a it sorting like hat. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah. it was like a really hat. funky polycon. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, but oh, they okay. built it. They built it to use it as uh, like a prototype to show you, like, hey, if you had this kind of a device in here, and you walked I in and it said, it. "Hi, Tom, yeah. thanks for joining the meeting," and right. so it had like recognition and it had built-in reminders through Cortana. I'm like, okay, see, that was interesting, and people couldn't like think about concepts when they see that. I thought they would have more of that. I was surprised they yeah. didn't. Yeah, because you can you could stand on stage and talk about AI and quantum computing and you know like the future waves of computing and stuff, but to show it like that is people can appreciate that, right? Like you can understand yeah. it. Oh, okay, this is really clever. It's using um, certain learnings and stuff, and um, it, it's stuff that just you can connect with it more. Um, and I think that like they need more of that today, really. Right. Um, right. They had yeah. the drone stuff, yeah, whatever. The drone on stage is kind of like played out at this point. Eric uh, um, Duckman in our chat room says the real-time transcription was pretty cool. It was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was part of that uh, of the uh, the meeting demo. Yeah, and it was really accurate. Um, it didn't really fail over at all. The only part of it that wasn't real was the your phone stuff. Like they they used obviously yeah. like a direct clearly video. Was, yeah, clearly. So tell us about that. What was the your phone thing? Is that so, a new app? Yeah, it's essentially a new app. Um, we don't really know exactly everything about it yet because they've been really thin on details and they're promising to demonstrate it further tomorrow. But essentially, um, it's going to connect definitely to Android devices and bring in your notifications from your Android device, your messages and your photos. And you'll be able to actually drag and drop those photos between the two. So you'll have the app on your PC um, and be able to you know, send texts and back and forth with contacts and stuff without having to touch your phone. That's kind of like the idea behind it. So they've kind of been doing little bits of this through Cortana and, and various other apps that they've been trying out, even Skype at one point. Um, but this is like a separate app now. So, yeah. yeah. I'm excited about the picture thing because Paul knows. He sees me do this all the time. I take a picture on my phone and then yeah. I email it to myself. And he's like, did you just email that to yourself? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, still, there's still, like, that basic experience is still, you can use, like, Google Photos or OneDrive and stuff like that, but it's still, there's a little, little lag of, like, getting that photo. There's no, like, quick way of just taking a photo from your phone and getting it instantly on your PC. Yeah. So, this this could be, could be interesting for that. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll see more about it tomorrow. Oh, you know, the other interesting thing they did was the Cortana Alexa integration demo. I was actually uh, surprised yeah. they did that. Uh, so, you know, we've been hearing that they were going to integrate Cortana and Alexa since last summer, and no one has really seen it work on, on the outside. I mean, there's people inside who are in the private beta or, or preview, yeah. but they showed it live on stage, and the way that you did it was surprising to me. I didn't know that Cortana would actually open on an Echo. Yeah, so... it. it I guess it's slightly clunky in a way because you've got the way you've got to call it up because of the way that the both platforms kind of share different um, or shares similar sort of interactions. Like you can say, you know, hey, cool, turn, turn the lights on. You can say the same on Alexa. Um, so you have to like call up Alexa or Cortana on each one to like activate it. And then the voice changes and, you know, you're talking to Cortana or you're talking to Alexa. Um, I think it was an interesting demo. Um, I don't know, like... How many people are really going to use Cortana through Alexa Um, that much? But, I mean, it does open up. It means that every Windows 10 PC now has Alexa built in, um, which is kind of interesting in a way. Um, But it's it's a clunky way that you have to get to it. Um, But, yeah, I mean, it's it's just interesting that that pair are working together anyway. I'd I'd like to see the integration go a bit deeper. Um, I like Alexa and and the skill set and stuff, but it would be nice if uh, Cortana was just the the voice of Alexa. I, I can't imagine that ever happening, but 
it would be nice if it did. Because um, Microsoft's um, Cortana voice is obviously recorded by Jen, who was, who was Cortana in Halo. Um, and it's just a, a much better, it's, it re- responds a lot better than um, Siri or Alexa. So. But yeah, um, it was an interesting demo though. 